Hey Linux fans, today what we're going to do is install a Linux Ubuntu server but do the GUI version. As you probably know, when you install Ubuntu server it will come as a CLI, so command line interface, and that's generally to keep it lightweight as possible and most admins if they're using it will tend to connect to it over the network anyway. We commonly see people connect to it through SSH, essentially a headless mode. So we want the GUI version. Well, I guess that's why you're here for this video now. My Ubuntu server is already installed, so the CLI version on VirtualBox as a virtual machine. If you haven't done that already, watch my other video on how to get that set up, and then you can continue from here to basically enhance it into a GUI version, for a lack of a better phrase. So once you've done that, you go over to your virtual machine instance. I've called mine Ubuntu server GUI, so I can just differentiate between the CLI version and the GUI version, which we're about to set up. So we'll start that machine now. Let's double click it. Right, and now you'll be presented with the login. So you just enter your username first, followed by your password. Okay, and we are now logged in. So if you haven't already, you'd want to just make sure that the system is all up to date as much as possible. Uh, so you just do your sudo and then upgrade i've done that already so i'm just i'm not going to go through that uh, right this instance but do that in your own time if you haven't now the tool that we need is something called task cell so that's at install task cell with one l now this basically lets you install a collection of software packages together uh, rather than each individual package which just saves you a bit of time and effort so that's what we'll do. So press enter. Oh, so we need to do that as root user. So just go sudo apt install task cell, enter the password, and that will get underway. Press Y to continue. Now for the GUI, we actually want a display manager specifically. That's what we're after when we say we want a GUI. Now, GNOME desktop by default uses I think something called a GDM3 as the default display manager, which is quite heavyweight, for lack of a better phrase. Whereas we want a lightweight version available for server use, because like I've mentioned before, it'd normally be accessed headless over the network. So we don't essentially want to use valuable resources on something that we don't need. We can use that resource on the underlying application, which might be a web server, theme, whatever the case may be. Now we've got lots of options and one is called Slim and one is called Light DM. We're going to go with Slim because it's the lightest way out of the two. So we'll get that underway. sudo install Slim. Perhaps if I put apt in there. And as you can see, the file size is going to take up for 175 megabytes. So let's continue with that by entering Y. Perfect. So now that's done, what we can do is just look into this file to see the default display manager if there are any. So that's in the etc file, and then x11, and then default display manager. Now, in this case, there isn't one. So that's why you get the message saying it couldn't find any file or directory, which is fine. Next step, we're going to install task cell, as in the Ubuntu desktop task cell. And here you can see what I meant earlier by packages of software to install. So here we're looking for Ubuntu desktop. So we'll just scroll down. We've got Debian desktop environment. To select it, you just press space. And to go into OK, you press tab. OK. I think we need to do a sudo again. Let's try that once more. Select Debian desktop environment. Tab to do OK. Yep, that's all it was. So it just needed root permissions. So put sudo in front of the command as I just showed you and that will start installing the packages and it give you a timeline of how it's doing. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time. I think when I've done it previously, it takes between five and up to 10 minutes. So just budget for that to be on the safe side. Right, we're almost at the finish line. So, right, the machine says it's finished installed now. So what we'll do is reboot this machine and see changes that have taken effect.
And as you can see, we have now got the GUI version of Ubuntu using task cell and slim. So let's log in and just double check everything's okay and enter our password. Notice it doesn't prompt you, but after you press enter, that's all you can input. And this is the lightweight version of the Debian display manager. So if we look at what we have installed, it will tell you all the applications that are available to go. So now what we'll do is we'll open up Firefox web browser. Let's head over to medium. And as you can see, that's all working fine. So we've got our lightweight GUI version on the server now. So that's everything ready to go. So hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.